I do want to raise what I think is a very dangerous potential safeguarding issue that we're seeing in this area right now, where schools are inviting outside organisations uh, into school to provide counselling type services and using their materials, groups like Stonewall and Mermaids who are teaching what I think are dangerous and contested extreme ideologies that don't have a basis in science to our children and it's contrary to DfE guidance. So we've got groups like the All Sorts Youth Project who are teaching children that there are more than two sexes. The Diversity Role Models Group who come into school and provide workshops but tell children that their sex has been assigned to them at birth. I've seen a video today by the Free to Be group telling teachers that they might drive children to suicide if they don't accept this ideology. And Stonewall wrongly interpreting the Equalities Act in a way that, that erodes the sex-based rights, particularly of girls, in a way that I think is very dangerous. And I know of children who have been counselled by adults in school that they would be happier if they changed their gender. And frighteningly, they are being told not to tell their parents and to keep this a secret. I know of schools where children are disciplined for complaining about children of the opposite sex being allowed to use their PE changing rooms. And I think this pushing of an extreme ideology that doesn't have a basis in science and is highly contested is having terrible consequences, and teachers and pupils are afraid to speak out. In 2009, 72 children were referred to the Tavistox Gender Identity Service. In 2019, 2,364 children, of which two-thirds were girls, were, were, were um, sent to the service. It's a 5,000% increase in the number of girls sent to the clinic in just 10 years. And many of these go on to be prescribed puberty blockers, and research suggests that 98% of those children are then given cross-sex hormones. So these are children who will become infertile, sterile, have permanent loss of sexual function. How can a 12, 13, 14-year-old consent to that? And I'm afraid this is a consequence of a harm being done to our children as a direct result of this agenda being pushed in school, contrary to DfE guidance, which say you should not reinforce harmful stereotypes, for instance, by suggesting that children might be a different gender, and it goes on to talk about what material can and can't be used. So I've I appreciate the ministers uh, agreed already to meet with me to discuss this. And we do need counsellors available in a school, absolutely. We need more focus on wellbeing and emotional health. But we must have a robust safeguarding process to ensure that the adults going into schools, the materials they're using are registered, they're approved, they're in line with DfE guidance, and they're doing the best for our children, they're encouraging their wellbeing and not pushing their own agenda.